Hello and welcome to Caveo Bite Size Learnings. In this video, we will explore the use of regular expressions within query pipeline rules to make those rules more flexible, dynamic, and powerful. Caveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. You already know the power of the query pipeline rules, such as the thesaurus. With a few clicks, you can have useful rules set up to easily address content gaps and improve the relevancy of your results. As powerful as they are, the rules you can set up with the point and click interface are really just the start. Using the example of the thesaurus, we can see that it's easy to set up a rule to expand or replace a term found in the query, but once those rules are in place, they are static until the next time you update your rules. In some cases, it's possible to be a bit more dynamic with your configurations using regular expressions and editing query pipelines QPL code directly to easily enable searches against families of related items. In some cases, it's possible to be a bit more dynamic with your configurations using regular expressions and, and editing query pipeline QPL code directly to easily enable searches against families of related items. To find documentation on the query pipeline language, search for QPL at the Coveo support page. We'll spend the next few minutes looking at a focused set of examples. And here's where we'll start. I've crawled a source that includes the catalog for a clothing manufacturer. While you can see that this is clearly a manufactured data set, this example is based on a use case from a real client we're working with. The catalog is built in an organized and consistent manner with each item assigned a code, which clearly identifies every aspect of the product as follows. The first three characters are digits representing product type. 101 is short sleeve t-shirts, 102 is long sleeve t-shirts, 103 is short sleeve button up shirts, and so on. 201 is a lightweight sweater, 211 is a medium weight sweater, 901 is a golf hat, and so on and so forth. The next five characters are the color pattern code. RWSTR is red and white stripes, FLR22 is floral print 22, FRGRS is forest green solid, the next three characters are the primary material, like CTN for cotton, DNM for denim, and so on. Finally, we have a two-digit numeric code corresponding to available size variations. If a store buyer finds that a particular product is selling well, they can easily find it to reorder by typing in the exact product code from the tag, but that will only return an exact match, because while the Caveo index will ignore the hyphens, by default, this query will require all of the separate terms to be in any returned document. It is possible to modify this with partial match configurations, but that would not allow for the focused expansion behavior we desire here. Now, if the buyer understands how the code is broken down, they could simply enter something like 101 if they wanted to look for more short sleeve button up shirts. But that's asking a lot of a buyer who might be working with dozens of manufacturers with different codes and code structures. What they really just want to do is copy and paste an identifier from a sales report into the search and make their purchases. With proper processing and index time, the manufacturer could build a navigation system with facets that would allow the buyer to narrow the listings based on item type, style, and size. And this is a great idea, but with a little regular expressions magic, we can make it really easy for the buyer with a code to find not just the original item, but all sorts of related items. Looking at doing it without regular expressions, if we want to, say, expand a query containing the code for any short sleeve t-shirt to also bring back all the other short sleeve t-shirts, it's mechanically very simple to do so. Just add a thesaurus rule, choose the option to expand any, and enter all the appropriate codes. 101, RWS, TR, CTN, 05, 06, 07, 08, Four lines in, we haven't even gotten all the size codes in for one product. Getting into additional items of the same product type, capturing color, pattern, and material, and doing so in this way would be a significant effort just to get started. And then of course, we'd have to do the same for every item type. Beyond that initial setup, this would also be an absolute bear to maintain over time. With a little regular expressions magic, we can simplify this process quite a bit. Let's delete the expand any rule and replace it with a simpler one-way expansion rule. Add rule, thesaurus rule, expand. This will give us a nice placeholder to work with. So I'll just put in some placeholder values. Source for the original keyword and target for the added keyword. Now I'll click on the item, choose the more options dropdown and select the option to edit code and we can see this simple QPL expression here. 
expand source to target. What I'm going to do is update the source with a regular expression and the target with a reference to a section of that regex. What this says is, if you see three numeric digits followed by five alphanumeric characters, followed by three alphabetical characters, followed by two numeric digits, each section separated by dashes, then extract those first three digits into a group variable named product type, and then apply the expansion rule so that the three digit code is included in the query as a standalone term. Now, regardless of whether someone enters the code for white t-shirts or calf length plaid shorts, the top level product type will be included in the query. A search for white short sleeve t-shirts will get you the originally requested item as well as all short sleeve t-shirts. A search for plaid shorts will get you all of the calf length shorts. And you could apply this sort of regex magic in your other pipelines rules, such as featured results or ranking expressions to, for example, boost color or style families based on the specific item entered as well. I'll leave that as an exercise for you to try out. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel and our e-learning playlist in order to learn more about using the Coveo suite of relevance tools to make your business personal. For more in-depth training courses, please visit www.coveo.com training.